This is the Bulls came down the tunnel earlier on. And before we tip this... Well, thank you very much. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. The forwards are Barnes and Siakam. OG Ananobi is out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Pirtle in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Chicago, DeRozan out there with Vucevic. And it's Alex Caruso. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Ball in at the point guard position. Get ready, folks. These two teams love pushing the ball. Greg, we could see a track meet tonight. Two of the top fast break teams in the league, Kevin. As far as keys, limiting turnovers is going to be big because they each want to get out and run when they get the chance. Caruso against Ananobi. Shoots over Caruso. The short one's on the money. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. Looking at the Raptors roster, basically the entire squad is under 30. Their key players are extremely young. A great sign for the future. Here's Barnes. Good work there as it goes. Good work inside. Barnes showing how skilled he is close to the rim. Caruso kicks the ball. Outside, Levine. Here's DeRozan. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. The youth is on their side. M. Smitty, since winning that title in 2019, the Raptors have totally turned over their squad. Kawhi, Kyle Lowry, Serge Ibaka all have left Toronto, Kevin, replaced with much younger players. Give Toronto's front office credit for retooling quickly. Just five on the clock. Fade away. That one off the back iron and out. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Pass to DeRozan. Second chance shot. And Vucevic with the layup. An absolute force on the offensive glass. Vuce works hard to impact the game any way he can. Van Vliet against Ball. Van Vliet passes to Barnes. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. And they pick up two. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Steps back and fires. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Toronto ahead. They're up by two. From the United Center in Chicago. Back in a moment. to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Boy, the, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. How about the job Billy Donovan has done? Under 500 in his first season, but took the Bulls to the playoffs in his second year at the helm. So the Raptors five right now. Van Vliet in the backcourt. Trent Jr. to his side. Young out there with Achua. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. Like at six. Williams can't hit. Lots of pieces have been added to this Bulls roster. For Donovan, you were just talking about him, to work with, coach, and lead. He has done a good job. They have a great mix, Kevin, of veteran leadership and young talent. Donovan has been able to mix and match to keep guys fresh. It worked well for him in the playoffs last year. Just couldn't find an answer for Giannis and the Bucks. Barnes against Beverly. Launches it. It's good from long range. Beverly's got the lead up to one now for the Bulls. Spacing the floor. This is what they need from Patrick Beverly on the offensive end. Over in the corner, Barnes. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Good D by Drummond. Now here's Dosumu. Defended by Trent. Levine gets the bucket. 
What concentration from the crafty swing man. Zach Levine enjoys scoring on aggressive defenders. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Van Vliet finds Young, and it's Trench in the corner. And he converts the layup. Gary Trench got his first points of the game. What a tough finish with all that contact. When Gary's doing damage inside, it's scary. And here's Levine. And Jack Levine gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. One second left. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Bulls lead by one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Zach, a hard-fought first half. What changes have to be made to get a little separation? They're making tough shots. They're trying to stick to our concept. So we got to come back, make plays, make shots, and, uh, you know, just stay solid. Oh. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. The way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys are going to sleep out there. Anyway, they've allowed over 50% shooting. Gave up way too many open looks. I'm sure they hear that in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out angry. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Greg, we know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. We've got Alex Caruso. DeRozan out there with Levine. Then it's Ball, and it's Vucevic in at the center position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Improving as a passer, Siakam showing a willingness to get it to open teammates. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half-court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Pass to Van Vliet. Now here's Ananobi. Now here's Van Vliet. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Five on the clock. Here's Pirtle. Siakam trying to free himself up. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. That one on Vucevic. What you love about Jakob Pirtle is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. And he knocks down the first one. And for Siakam, Greg, he almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from that position. Solid player who any team would love to have. He doesn't get the second one. Chicago trailing here. Outside, ball. 
Levine wide open. Cruise it from outside. Levine's got five points so far. This demonstrates how confident Levine is. Knows he has the trust of his teammates to fire quick shots. Passes it to Pirtle. Barnes looking around. Over Levine. Here's Pirtle. Makes it off the glass. He has five. You can count on Pirtle to play with energy. And this time it pays off with the second chance points. Back to ball. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Caruso. Off target from outside. And fleet against Ball. Here's on an open. He can't get it to go. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. The Raptors out in front, leading by just one. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us? He's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball on the court for Toronto to start the fourth. Sharing the wing spots for them. It'll be Trent Jr. and Ananobi. Then there's a chewer. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Here's Caruso. DeRozan gets deflected. Ananobi with it. Now guarded by Ball. Van Vliet passes to a chewer. And he uses the glass on the way. I like that approach, playing inside out, forcing the defense to scramble. Bulls trail by three. Now DeRosa. Shoots over a Chua. And it's DeRozan missing. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. From 10 feet out, it counts. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Van Vliet passes to Achua. Caruso against Trent. Shoots over Caruso. Trent can't hit. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is down. It's in! Caruso called his own number. That's a huge bucket. And the Raptors call time here. They trail by one. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? They, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. We'll, we'll see if they try. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Nikola Vucevic. And his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Zach Levine's checked in for Williams. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. One play at a time. Execute the game plan. That's how we're going to win this game. Kevin is trying to keep it focused. All right, thank you, David. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Count it! Stepping up in a big way. Siakam proving he's got guts to deliver in the clutch. Timeout called the Bulls. 
They're trailing by one. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Here's what's your take. This is where great coaching can pay dividends. These are the plays that people remember. I can't wait to see what he has devised. Seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Rosen dishes the ball. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. To Rosen simply rises to the occasion with that make. Huge shot. First personal foul. First team foul. At the one for the Bulls, Jamal Rosen. One shot. Free throw is off from DeRozan. There's a reason DeRozan's teammates give him the rock in big spots. The confidence they have in him is evident. He's up from outside. Fearless at the finish. Fred is just unfazed by the game's biggest moments. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by two. All right, fans. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Caruso. Oh, that shot at a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Toronto in a tight game. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. Yeah, Kevin, this is the kind of win you 